All right. Hi, these are the instructions for how you can create a narrated slideshow talking about some different cards and using um, a different point of view to tell a story about them. The first step is you're going to go to the camera app on your iPad and you're going to take pictures for each of the cards that you have. So you're going to get those cards, put them on the table, probably work with a partner and one person can hold the iPad while the other person moves the cards and then takes the pictures. In this example, I'm just going to take four pictures, but you may have five, six, or more um, pictures that you need to photograph. The next step is you're going to need to go to your photo roll and make an album. And you can see the previous group has an album that they've done. We've got to go into our camera roll, and the last pictures on the camera roll are the ones that we took. And so you're going to press Edit, and then you're going to tap the pictures that you took. And you're going to say Add to a new album. And I'm going to call this Wes because that's my name and now those are going to be in an album called Wes and they're going to be ready for me to make my slideshow. The next step is you're going to open up the application Show Me and it may be in a different folder you can find it and you're going to open up Show Me and Show Me is already going to be logged in so that you're going to be ready to press the green button that says create a new Show Me. At the top, there's a button for a picture, and you're going to tap that, and hopefully um, it's going to say, do you want to take a photo or choose? And since you've already taken the pictures, you can choose the photo, and they should be in your album. So you can select the picture that you're going to want, and it looks like I'm not going to bake first, so I'm not exactly sure if this is the right order, but it looks like he's getting, this is the first one I'm going to do. I can pinch to make this bigger or smaller if I want to and rotate it, um, but basically get it like I want it and then press done and now I'm ready to start recording. So I'm going to do this from uh, first person singular, so I, and I'm going to press record. When I'm ready to make some cupcakes, the first thing I do is get all of my supplies out on the table. Now I've hit pause because I've got to load my next picture. And so I'm going to load my next picture, in this case, the mixing picture, and again get it set like I want, click done, and hit pause again. After I have my supplies, now I'm ready to mix my ingredients together. Pause, get your next picture. If you accidentally click like I did, take a photo, you can cancel it, and you can choose your photo. And it looks like now I'm ready to put it in the oven. Done. After the ingredients are mixed and put in the cups, it's time to put them in the oven. And then I'll just do one more example for my last picture. And again, you're having to sequence this. And now I'm ready to take them out. Oops, and I messed up. Okay, so I should have done a better job getting my, my pictures in order. Um, and I guess I'll just click done and I'll say well, I should have actually put my ingredients in my cupcakes before I put it in the oven. So, I've messed up there, but you can see how that process works. Now I'm ready to click save. When I'm ready to make some cupcakes, the first thing I It's do going to play it for me, and if I made a mistake, I actually have to start all over and click delete. But for this example, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and click save, and then I'm going to put in a title, and I'm going to call this cooking by Wes, and you'll need to follow the instructions for what you're going to put, because you may put your teacher's code or a name or, or whatever your teacher wants you to, to put in here, but now you're going to click next, um, select language if that's what this is for, and then click finish. At that point, when you're connected to the internet, it's going to go ahead and post that show me up on the website, and if you come over here to look at the computer screen here, when we refresh this, it's going to have Cooking by Wes right here, and it's going to take a little bit to convert it. But those are the steps that you're going to do to create your show me and put that online so that your classmates and other people can see it.